the Leo and Danny show. It, Austin, isn't that scary to think about? Because it's becoming more and more clear uh -huh. that UFOs and aliens are pretty much real. Yeah, yeah, Tom DeLonge has been a I don't really think it's aliens. I think it's either. military tech, personally. But Military tech that's that far beyond anything that we know about it, as far as our engineering and our aerospace science? Anything that's been declassified. Anything that we quote-unquote know about. Yeah. But there are things that they're not allowed to tell us that they know about. So they release it to us as, we don't know what the fuck this is. That's a base take. That That's that's the way I think it is. It's probably just <laughs> Thank you, King Croc. I'm sorry. That's pretty based. I guess it is more based than Aliens. Yeah. yeah. Aliens is a pretty San Francisco, Portland, Oregon take. They yeah. want you to think it's Aliens so that you're that they don't know that we're probably going to go to like World War III. It's a cover. It's a cover. The alien shit is a cover, man. If there 100%. are aliens, though, those aliens that are making like 180 degree turns at 3 billion miles per hour, they could easily make us their next chicken and just start fucking dining on us. And maybe, um, not maybe, we would definitely not like that, I'm sure, yeah, no. but they wouldn't give a fuck what we said. Yeah. I mean, yeah fucking just shut the fuck up stupid human yeah. your fucking f1 tomcat mm. can only go 1600 miles per hour yeah you're not smart as us get in fucking <laughs> get in line yeah. to this fucking slaughterhouse right now and that just that thought makes me suddenly like oh maybe maybe animal rights people are right dude yeah some of these animals we kill are pretty fucking smart dogs like a dog can fucking yeah. like go get me a frisbee it'll go into the other room and bring the frisbee back fuck it he'll Whatever. remember your frisbee like he'll know your frisbee yeah away from us pigs are really smart too yeah, yeah. pigs are Tight. We fuck pigs. But I up. eat pigs. Yeah, pigs are we, really do, we do fuck pigs. I love eating pigs. Did you see the video of the monkey playing pong with its brain? Yeah, shit's wild. Oh, mm. with te Tesla and Nicholas. Yeah, and Elon. Yeah. Elon Musk. Like in his brain chip company, there's a video where a monkey is just straight up dominating pong. Like better than I can play pong with yeah. his brain, no controller. Yeah, the technical singularity. Yeah. Is among us. Ray Kurzweil. <laughs> like, you read Ray Kurzweil, I'm sure. And yeah. think about this, dude. People thought Ray Kurzweil was just some insane man, and now he's like head up in Google. Like Google hired him, so he who's must this have guy? Something. Ray Kurzweil. What does he do? Um, you want me to tell him? Oh, really? You want me to tell him? Craig? Okay, because you were talking. Basically, uh, he's this once called a madman. He wrote the book "The Singularity Is Near," where essentially this book came out. I don't know. You can check probably a good. 12, 12 years ago, something like that, where he says in 30 years, we will, as a human species, have gotten to a point where AI is so advanced that essentially a matrix situation is bound to happen. And so now, you know, come 10 years after or th this, the book is out and everyone's calling this man a complete, and you know, you guys look this up because I'm only someone who's like read part of the, I haven't even read the whole book, but we're, we're not I'm not, I'm not an, yeah, you're yeah. definitely not an expert. I'm not an expert. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, no, Rick hurts well. Now all of a sudden he's in this position of power, working very high up in uh, a place where What's a matrix not, so, not, so, so, not so long ago people thought that he was just some crazy man. Talking I get about. it. Your theory is that he wrote this book about a potential matrix situation. The higher ups at Google liked it, and them hiring him <laughs> makes people think that Google is planning on instituting this. What's a matrix situation? Uh, that's exactly what I was uh, that was what I was trying to say, Danny. Yes, <laughs> a matrix situation is where humans are living in some sort of imagined reality and behind have you seen the matrix uh years ago i can't even fucking remember in the matrix basically humans are harvested like batteries and they're all perpetually in a dream state so right now cigar guy yeah. this would be your dream you uh, living in your house and fucking girls in your back room yeah. and smoking your foreskin yeah. it's all a dream while you're actually in a pod somewhere in Europe being uh -huh. harvested for your heartbeats and electricity in your body. Well, that's fucked up. A and similar sounds, thing happens in Naruto. Up. Like, almost yeah. like exactly the same thing where everyone's living in, like, a dream space. Well, so if this is a dream... Are you conferring the, the Katsuki... Are you, it's the Tsukiyomi. So the Suke oh, the, su the Suke Yomi, it's like when the running guy. Why are we talking? We, we can't. Yeah, we're getting like, really deep. So this is a <laughs> but for so people for, who haven't seen The Matrix and have seen Naruto, then it's the same. Concept. Okay, come on, I need to understand this. So the theory is that I'm dreaming. Well, okay, so to to explain oh, in no. a in a atheistic way, right? Yeah. Your neural sensors, right? Now I'm starting to understand. What it. you're yeah. feeling, uh -huh. you can replace it uh -huh. with technology. That's mm -hmm. what. Elon Musk just did. He's replacing neurons activating with an external device. Now imagine that plugged into your visual cortex. 
Imagine that plugged into your feelings, emotions, everything. So if I was You're dreaming right now, why would I be shitting Don't my pants? Don't get hung up on the dreaming on thing. The dreaming thing is just the matrix is be, it's become shorthand for a situation where tech controls Man, our brains. This is some world. bullshit. I know we don't understand. Let's get it on. We're, we're like it. we're like fucking Columbus landing on whatever island, Fuck. like trying to map the United States right <laughs> now. Like, yeah, we're a Neanderthal standing out in a fucking cave looking up at lightning. We don't know what we're talking about here. It's fun to speculate if, if on. It is. Thing, we're we're closer to going to something that's like Ready Player One, huh. which is where everybody kind of lives in the slums and squalor and trailers like me, but they spend all day with a virtual reality headset on. So then they actually spend a lot of time in like luxurious places yeah. drinking cocktails. Yeah, but sure. If they take the headset off, then they're in the the shitty ghetto. Again. So you oh, put your headset on. You imagine you have your bed back and you're actually fucking the girl that's staying in your trailer. Yeah, so you get you get your uh, your Joe Biden check, you know, your WIC yeah. money, your your UBI and then you stay in your your little tiny pod but then live in virtual reality pills right but then now, what is the benefit to the people who aren't living in virtuality the elites what are they going to be doing while we're all in fantasy world are they just going to be fucking and They're raping kids have access to the resources that are still available no, get whenever a, the get a gro grip. global population gets to a point to where like only the rich can afford like nice things like good food or whatever oh, yeah. and then everything else will be socially distributed between Hey, Danny, my dad just texted me and said he's, he just got to have a meeting and responding to a text I sent him a long time ago. So I'm sure he'd be available if we want to try to call him again. Let's give it one more try. Sure. Okay, All this AI me, stuff me is bumming egg. me out. It's bumming uh, me out. It's giving it's me depressing. fucking, it's freaking me out, dude. This it has is. been going on. I know things are different now than they were ever before. But since the beginning of time, people have thought the sky is falling, that America as a concept was, well, not the beginning of time. Since the inception of this country, we thought we were going to get invaded or the bomb was going to fall or Germany was going to fucking take over and start putting everybody in ovens. We've always thought the country had a, sh a very short yeah, why future. Why can't we just Germany, chill out? Let's just Germany chill out. Germany did do that, and it was only like... 90 years ago Fuck it, dude. we it still didn't. got like 60 more years of life left in us it's up I it's up in the air if that die, even happened dude. i'm gonna get stuck in some kind of a massive war horrible shit all my money's gonna go away you guys are fucking pissing me off that's, dude. that's also um <laughs> I, don't know, it's that. I feel like you're giving yourself an out to just be a bum if no you think i like just that. i think that we live in this goldilocks time period where everybody thinks that everything's all hunky-dory and great when the entire history of human civilization has been blood, famine, and war, and the, and the idea that I'm going in yeah. rape, yeah, mm -hmm. and the idea that I'm going to live in this Goldilocks state for the next sixty years until I die without anything horrible happening yeah. seems minor. Especially, I mean, since it seems unlikely. Like people never thought the government would be able to shut down your business for like three days, and then they shut it down for like two years. Yeah, I got my Twitter. I got official word that my Twitter account has been deactivated, which is a small part of my business, but just the same, it's an arm of my business. Right, your marketing. When, yeah. when my Instagram got temporarily deleted, I temporarily deleted. I said it was equivalent to not shutting down a plumber's plumbing business, but just towing his truck in the middle of the night. Yeah. The truck is something he uses to get to work and do his job, and now it's just gone. Mm. My Twitter account has just been taken from me, and not not rightfully. What I got it deleted for was a joke that I aimed at my cameraman. I said, yeah. I'm going to beat the shit out of Nico Villacresis. Just, I, we were fucking around on a hotel room bed together. Dude, I can't believe you got banned for that. I saw that. I it appealed it. They looked at his profile, or they should have, where it says cameraman for at Danny Mullen. Clearly we're friends and we know each other. I think he even liked the tweet, but they still said, you know what? Fuck you. Your Twitter account with 11,000 followers so stupid. is gone. Just an, an arm of my business is just gone and there's nothing I can do to get it back. So stupid.